confusion. So here's my invitation to a demonstration. Let me take you cruising through the calculation. You drop a line down from halfway up the steep bit. That's where you end what is. I don't give you no shit. You work out moles of OH minus and the volume you just measured. It's a bitch and piece of piss to do. No pressure. You take the volume in liters times hydroxide concentration. This equals moles of acid because it's a neutralization. The acid's lost its proton. It's done an ionization. I like big... Uh, Durettes, and I cannot lie, they love fascination. Now put moles of acid over volume from your pipette. Now you're kicking ass, you got the answer, no sweat. It's back to the bone, the titration curve, gangster rap. So just y'all listen up, don't give me no crap. If you ain't got a pH meter, you'll need an indicator. That'll give you the same equivalence point data. But you gotta choose one that changes color at the end point. Yeah, think about that, skanks, while you're smoking your next joint. <laughs> if you change the color early or you change the flavor, man, you chose yourself a freaking no good indicator. Now focus on that, and that's the old Henderson Hasselbalch equation. Yo, sister, fix it firmly in your imagination. Those HH dudes will tell you where everything's at. They the cool niggas who put the pH in fat. <laughs> Zero, so hell, that term's just gone. So the pKa is halfway to the equivalence place. It's the pH where the acid equals its conjugate base. And if you can't remember that well in your face, <laughs> there's still some juice left in the titration curve rack. So just y'all listen up still. Don't give me no crap. Now, big ups to me for giving you all the in explanation, it's a pop in education. If you want the pH at the start of the titration, believe me, cuz it's a fucking simple calculation. <laughs> KA sounds acid concentration. Then square root is H plus and moles per liter. Take the log, change the sign. Fast as a cheater, there's nothing neater. What could be sweeter? The pH at the end point is a weak base calculation. You need the KD of the conjugate times its concentration. Then OH minus is given by that thing when it's been square rooted. Don't forget at that point the mixture's been diluted. You take my word for that, don't you dispute it. Then POH from 14 has got to be subtracted. And now you're crumping hoes, you've got the answer, bro, you've cracked it. So now all you homies in your hood, you know the titration curve rack. You pass your exam for shizzle, not falling to no trap. Let this awesome chemistry infiltrate your brain. Man, it's out of sight, it's off the chain. Get your head around these problems, do lots of others. Get off your fat asses, don't be lazy mothers. If you want to get an A, you've got to give it some hammer. But if you won't even try, then screw you and your mama. <laughs>